we were notified by the operator of the submersible vessel that it was uh, overdue and it had five uh, persons on board uh, the submersible. So we're working very closely at this point uh, to make sure that we're doing everything that we can do uh, to locate uh, the submersible and rescue uh, those on board. Uh, the location of the search is approximately 900 miles uh, east of Cape Cod uh, in a water depth of uh, roughly 13,000 feet. It is a, a remote area. Uh, and it is uh, a challenge to conduct a uh, search in that remote area, but we are deploying all available assets to uh, make sure that uh, uh, we can uh, locate uh, the craft and uh, uh, rescue uh, the, the people on board. We understand from the operator of the vessel that the vessel uh, was designed with a 96 hour uh, 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 sustainment uh, capability if there was an emergency on board uh, and so uh, we're using that time making the best use of every moment of that time to uh, locate the vessel. We've subsequently uh, coordinated with uh, the Canadian uh, Coast Guard and Canadian Armed Forces to deploy additional assets uh, to the scene. The Canadians have had a C-130 aircraft searching as well in addition to also having a P-8 uh, submarine uh, search uh, aircraft uh, deploy as well and put uh, sonar buoys in the water uh, in attempt to uh, listen. Again, right now our focus is getting on as much capability into uh, the area as we can and understanding that uh, full capability of those assets that are being deployed. Our uh, aerial assets that are being deployed have the capability to do both visual and radar searches and, and the Canadians uh, asset had the ability to drop sonar buoys and listen and so we're using all that information to improve our search capability. Certainly uh, every time uh, ships go to sea they encounter uh, hazards and dangers uh, and so uh, having properly prepared vessels, properly prepared uh, crew members uh, and uh, making sure that you practice emergency procedures, good, good uh, um, practical advice for anybody that goes to sea. Thank you very much for your time. diving is very dangerous but it is uh, it's high tech you know and as each year goes by the equipment gets better the technology gets better and so on so uh, I'm very hopeful and very positive I, I mean uh, I was in the sub for uh, 12 hours we have our own breathing system on board and if that's maintained properly like changing your uh, filter and your co2 scrubber you can stay down there for you know quite a few hours and in our case you know I was down there for 12 hours total time in the sub and, and the uh, new technology obviously can extend that too, right? Mm -hmm. 